GM55-203, Chapter 4, Car Truck Maintenance. 4-1 type of car, type of truck, sorry, 4-1 type of trucks, general. Car trucks have been generally described in paragraph 3-2. There are many different types of the same general characteristics are applicable to all. This text is largely limited to conventional four-wheel cross baluster coil spring, same freight, freight, freight car truck. Figure 3-1, discussed in paragraph 419 and 421. Inspection. The inspection and the repair and the maintenance of the car and trucks is essential for the railway operations as wheels must roll to move personnel, equipment, supplies, and rails. Wheel flanges wheel, wear, wheel flanges wear sharp, treads wear thin, breakthroughs, brake shoes wear out. The diameter of the car wheel journals decrease and the length increase in, within, with service. Car journals were, were wear down until they are unevenly joined. Journal finish reach the danger point. When it occurs, the defective surface must be polished and polished to the creative new wearing and surface. Wearing reconditioning eventually will reduce the journal to an unsafe diameter and length. The length may also become so great that to, to make a lateral movement of the bearing and journal excessive for safe operation. 4-2 Maintenance of the truck as a unit. The body of the car may ass settle because of the weight of the wear of the wheel treads, journals, bearings, and possible shortenings of the springs resulting of the set. The setting may be of vital importance of the relative th height and settle the car to another car. Couple of cars and disturb. However, it can be brought up to the proper level in placing shims, liners, and the remi requ re required um, thickness under the truck springs, replacing an effective wearing springs. While this way will ra raise the truck bolster and the body of the car. car ours also can be raised by placing shims on the center plate. This requires compensation adjustment of the side bearings the the proper height of the car can be established in measuring the height of the car from the rail level this should not exceed three thirty four and a half inches center of the coupler coupler on the conos type of cars section two wheels and axle one four three wheel wear friction is main cause of the wear wear of the car wheels the friction is developed in contact with with rail and contact brake shoes against the wheel treads and braking in a rail or rolling friction causes the greatest amount of the wear, resulting in the development of hollow spots and treads next to the flange. This may be caused by high speeds, heavy loads, unevenly jointed track. As noticed by the friction of the brake shoe, should cause the track wear. And most important, the, heart, the heat generated in the brake shoe applic application is generally passed by the flange or rim mode, rim of the wheel. The thread, tread, the wheel, treaded heats rapidly w brakes are applied therefore the tendency to tr tread to expand out of the portion of the rest of the wheel since the treads ex expand then the rim flange resist expansion cracks developed in the plate rim flange because of the stress with the bear at the time of the brake shoe application repeated cooling and heating and treat it developed tread or heating on the tread develops increases the number of cracks frequently those cracks may result in fracturing brake off the section of the rim of the flange where the flange against the outside of the rail curves that result on the sharp flange which are inherently dangerous because their sharp wheel may split and switch and cause a derailment. B inspection when the wheels and axles are removed from the truck for any reason both wheels and axles should be truck tr thoroughly examined examine to ascertain whether other defective defects are present and if the defect is or, or such nature to the warrant removing the wheels from the axle of the repair scraping as indicated with one of the wheel is found in the defective the wheel set axle of the pair of wheels attached is removed the axle with the pair of wheels is, is removed the pair of the wheels contacting defective wheels can be replaced and or sent to the wheel axle shop repairs common wheel defects is discussed and illustrated in chapter 4 4 removal of the wheel and a wheel and axle assembly method of the wheel removal it is not necessary for it to dismantle the truck completely to exchange the pair of the wheels correct procedures are listed below one disconnect the type of top of the brake rod from the truck live lever two jack the car high enough to remove the truck three place the shuttle um, safety sh trestles under the car four remove the truck center pin and the roll of the truck out Five, remove the journal packing and lubrication pads, the journal bearing and wedge of the wheels to the B place, pry siding the wheel frames out of far enough to affect the wheels and axles to roll clear. Side frames. Um, lift out old lift or roll old wheels away by replacing a new wear new pair of wheels and roll into position. Replace and side frame journal bearings and wheel wedges and center pins. Replace nine. Replace truck under the car. 10. Remove the trestle and lower jacks to reconnect the brake rod to the lever 
Live lever 11. Repack the journal bo boxes for with pre fresh packing and lubrication pads and new oil. Four five. Rot, root and rot and cast steel wheels. A description. Rot and steel wheels and cast steel wheels are used on the freight cars as well as other equipment. Both are made. Number of designs, comp composition, and are heated and heated, treated and untreated, depending on the original rim thickness and steel wheels. They are classified by multi wear, two wear, or one wear wheels. Wrought steels are identified by stamping on the back face of the rim or hub. Cast steel wheels are identified by making the stamps on the back rim of the hub and facing casts on the wheel plate. Well, multi multi wear, the two wear wheels are indicated by the name, have sufficient rim thickness and to permit the permission of the thread flange thread end of flange and new contours after the wheels have been worn to flange and high flange etc one wear one wear wheels are intended intended primarily for one service period wrought steel wheels are untreated heated and treated and are made uh, to AR specifications M107 cast steel wheels untreated and heated treated are made to the AR specifications M208 but both specifications cover the U untreated and three classes of heated and wheels A, B, and C. Designation of the carbon content of the steel class A indicates a relatively low carbon steel wheel. Class B, intermediate action ca carbon steel wheel. Class C, a relatively high carbon steel wheel. Heat treatment of the wrought steel wheels may be quenching the rim only by only or by the quenching of the entire rim, rim. Or sorry, the wheel. Heat treating or casting the steel wheels is quenching. The rim only. The quenching of these followed by the tempering. Rimming, rim quench wheels sometimes. Uh, rim quench wheels sometimes rid rim treated and are identified by stamping the letter R following the class letter or example R and is omitted on the cast steel wheels and wrought steel wheels for locomotives. Entire quench wheels by stamping the letter E following the class of letter. And B service the service for which the various classes of the wrought steel and the cast steel wheels are intended to be is described class U general service where the untreated wheels are satisfactory class A high speed service where service brake conditions and moderate wheel loads three class B speed service in the moderate braking conditions and heavier brake loads C class C one service in light braking conditions of the high wheel loads um, class C two service of the heavier braking conditions of the off treaded brakes and employed. Notes Class A wheels lowest carbon range are mostly resistant to thermal cracking. Class C wheels are the highest carbon range and are mostly resistant to the shelling and condition of different class as of wheels or should not be mixed under the same car. Type C type types. One wear one one wear wrought steel wheels are lightly are lighter design of the multi wear wheels and are firm and are are used to primarily under freight cars, those that used to be some extended to under the passenger train cars. Multi wear seals are used for locomotives and passenger cars. They are mostly used for the freight cars, while wheels intended for the under lo locomotive, other than steam, have the mill scale removed from the applicable application to the axle. Three, the steel tired wheels are used to steam. Steel tired wheels are used on a steam locomotive, some electric locomotives, and to very limited extent of the diesel locomotive locomotives and passenger cars. Six wheel defects. A general is not practicable to elaborate on all the defects of the defects that may develop in car wheels. A general description that various defects are given below. Thin flange, a minimum flange, thickness of steel wheels and surface of fifteen sixteenths of an inch is determined by a gauge applied by the sink shown in figure four one. Vertical flange of a wheel combinable with the vertical flange of the wheel applied and shown in figure four two consists of the throat side of the flange one above the tread. This is 4.1, the method of gauging flange wheels condemnable. Here is an, the method of gauging vertical flange wheels condemnable. Um, you have your you have your um, little gauge card here. An inch by 7 eighths of an inch. Here you have your flange at 15 and 16 of an inch and by 1 inch. Um, D high flange. The maximum flange height for the steel wheels are one and a half inch above the approximate center of the tread for measured for the gauge as shown in figure four third. A burnt rim. If the portion of the flange of the rim breaks off the course fracture of the roof granular fact or granular surface, figure four four, the wheel is was overheated in manufacture and must be removed from the surface. If the shattered rim and if a portion of the flange of the rim is part shown in the parting of the smooth surface, figure four or five, the wheel has must be removed out of the surface. Spread rim. The rim widens out for the short.
shortened distance of the front face and, is, and an internal defect may be present. The wheel must be withdrawn from the surface as shown in figure 4, 7. Spreading of the rim is unusually accompanied flattening the tread and the wheel may not have the cracks on tread. This condition usually associated with the shattered rim it is usually less than 12 inches longer than should not be out of the rim around the entire wheel. The, later, the latter is a common surface condition is not defective figure 4 7 was being turned into restore tread and flange contour unless the voids of a flaky and laminated condition can be re readily turned out without safe wear and turning marks of the w on the wheel with the this wheel m must be spent scrapped a treaded or shell tread one when piece of metal breaks out of the tread surface of several pieces more than less continuous around the wheel around the rim the wheel is shell treaded and must be removed from the surface figure 48 when excess of shell incurs in service metal remedial measures should be taken and contribution factors include poor track and excessive speed excessive load and use of wheels insufficient hardness ball I built up tread a built up tread is caused by the metal and tread and brake shoe being treated he being heated to the plastic state is dragged up built around the tread figure 49 such wheels m must be removed from the service J groove tread which are have the circumference groove and grooves of the in the tread to the depth of one inch of an inch much more or, or more must be removed from the service figure 410 here's a cast iron steel wheels that have not flat back rim one and a half inch by two and a half inch on all other steels with a one and sixteenth of an inch by one half an inch one by one and a, and a half inch shim cast irons not having flat back face rim this is a method of measuring a high range of flange, flange. it's a tool it goes up the one and a half inch rules with a caliper out of, okay, out of the round wheels are out, out of the round in excess of three six three sixty fourth of an inch, and they are twelve inches less than which the use of the gauge is shown in Figure Four Eleven must be removed from the surface. The rules applies to thirty three inches. L cracked up the help failures take from the radical illustrated in Figure Four Twelve, which shows the big back hub of the wheel usually occur during the mounting. M thermal cracks and the thermal cracks are caused by extensive brake heating. They occur cra crosswise on the heat tread on the tread as shown by the figure 413 may be confined with the tread of the flange. In the extreme cases, they may go through the entire tread and into the clay. Thermal cracking is a serious defect in any stage of development and is caused for immediate removal from work from the removal of the wheel from service. In the cracked or the broken plate, a wheel with a cracked plate is condemned and will must be removed from the service. Cracks in the plate and develop to stress that service loads are breaking loading and breaking must plate for progressive nature it is important that they do not detect their early stages of the figure 414 showing showing shows a typical plat, plate crack within not extended to the rim section 414 2 shows a crack with through a plate through the rim you see a burn rim front rim a shattered rim a spread rim Wheels are loosening out of the gauge. Wheels must be removed out of the service. Their show indicates being loose on the axle. This is usually indicated by oil and pl plate of the wheel, presumably having speed through the journal boxes. Loosen wheels do not always indicate oil sep 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 seepage of the back plate. It is also important to watch for evidence of wheel movement of the axle wheel and see oil on the plate. Oil on the back plate, insufficient reason of the removing wheels from the car, even though through they may not always be loose. To the Wheels in service which have the gauge measurement less than 30, 53 inches, more than 53 and 3 eighths of an inch must be removed from the service. See figure 4, so seen the method of gauging wheels. Q overheated with the wheels that were coming overheated due to the dragging, dragging, dragging brakes and which show in any combination of the following evidence of severe overheating when drawn in service. This is a sub surface sub defect in turning the wheel. Um, one road dirt and oil mixture front of the face and plate under the side of the rim considered s or, or cinder burn to a hard consistent or burn away a deep blue color of the flange tread of the front raised rims uh, or I always can allow these conditions shelled tread uniform pattern of the reddish brown color covering the back face of the extending down into the plate this same color may also present a front face over the rim and plate here is a totally built up tread um, this one is a groove tread wheel, and it's, here is the gauge, 3 and 64 of an inch worn through a spot in the chill area, out of the round, out of around 30, 3 
three inches of the wheel. You have a 12, seventh inch, 12 and 7 inch by 12 inch is uh, in, the, in, your, in your radius. And you have a 360 three inches and 64, three si inches, three sixty fourths of an inch. Um, train uh, out around um, tread. This is a crack hub. Here you have a crack broken plate, as you see in this broken plate. This is thermal cracks from he heat, heating, heating, heat and friction. Um, cracking extending through the rim. Dang. Crack originating in a hole burned in the wheel. Wheels are out of the gauge of dimension and is less than 53 inches, exceeding 53 and 38 of an inch. Method of gauging the wheels. Section 3. Axles. These standard axles design are based on a load ratings, which in turn are fixed to the journal. Size figure 417 shows the limits of where new dimension of the plate and bearing freight axle in figure 418 uh, the same date as the ba passenger cars. These new passenger car axles are used in new cars and passenger ser car service. The load rating individual axles should be shown in table 411. Wheels of axles are selected by accordance with the tables in shore 1419. Table 41 axle loaded row ra ro axle loaded ratings A B C D E F G A R axle designation for the A you got three feet and three quarters of an inch by seven inches load in each exit load to each axle is desi designed to carry fifteen thousand fifteen thousand um, to a maximum weight on the rail car loaded with four wheel trucks in compound sixty six. B, you go through four inches and a four and a quarter inches by eight inches, twenty-four less, twenty-four loaded pound on each axle, and to maximum weight on the rail car and load four wheel trucks, one thousand one hundred and three tons. Um, C five by nine, thirty-three and a half by loaded in pounds in each axle designated carry maximum weight of the railway car loaded in four wheel in pounds, one hundred and forty-two. Thousand pounds. Um, D five and a half by ten inches, forty-two thousand pounds loaded in, in each axle designated to carry maximum weight of the railway car loaded to the four wheel tracks, four wheel trucks and pounds, one hundred seventy-seven tons. Or sorry, one hundred seventy-seven thousand pounds. E six by eleven. Your load in pounds. Each axle is designated to carry fifty-two and a half. Thousand pounds in maximum weight of all railway car loaded in four wheel trucks and pounds two hundred twenty thousand. Um, F six and a half by twelve inches the load in pounds the H axle is designated to carry sixty three thousand pounds maximum weight of the railway car and load four wheel trucks and pounds. 263,000 pounds G 7 by 12 inches in journal um, load in pounds with each axle is designated to carry 76,000 pounds the maximum weight of the railway car for the four wheel tracks so in pounds 3 and a half, 315 315,000 pounds here's A, B and C A, B you got your your overall O and I and a K is a road service limit shop limit dimensions requiring for the removal of axles for one reach and one when less one less than for and I'm not gonna go over this table but it's in figure two A dash three P A B A R wheel manual. The new limitation dimensions of the planning bearing freight axle freight car axle. B common defects that cited below a short general description of various common axles journal Defects and recommendation practices: Cur cut and vernal burnt journal and depression continuing out of the streak. And any injury of the journal and meat meat of oil. Seated journal such as a cut journal must not be removed except expert machine cut and delay, such as a defeat and and allowed to remain may cause broken axle or hot journal bent axle. All, all second hand decks mounted axles should be checked in the lathe between the center and the rounded teeth. Rounded teeth. Trenchery of the tempering, tapering, 
pinwheel seats in the journal. If the axle is found to be bent, it should be scrapped unless the journals and wheel seats and can be towed up within specific limits of practice sometimes followed in the leap of chalk witness mark around the wheel seats to show the axle has been checked with in the lay. The broken axle circumferential lap seams in any portion of the axles are locally to cause trouble and broken axles are once in the broken collar for most recently scrap. Rack journal fillet to standardize the lap at tools and simplifies the shop jobs. Journal fillets are no, no normally are turned into standard radii of the new axles. These rules or, however, permit the second hand axles with a maximum back fillet radius of one eighth of an inch per C, and larger axles can be used without wheel defect gauge. A minimum radius should be employed on only in a, only in when the axles are reapplied with ref refinishing and restoring the fillets into the standard radii, which cause which would cause journals to be scrapped for deficiency length and diameter. Journal length to warn to limit the length of the worn journal should be measured. From a point of one quarter of an inch above the journal surface on the sur on the face of the end collar to point out one eighth of an inch below the dust guard set on the back fillet is shown in the figure 420 and a gauge which measures the length of the journals according to width. This method can be used in 421 illustrates the type of gauge used on the railroads through the United States. Color six collar worn time to limit limits where will conform to those shown on 418 journal diameter worn below the limits limits were conform to shown in the figure 418 wheel shown wheel seat below limit limits wheel w w limits of the wear will conform to shown in 418 the journal length of the worn to limit axles usually are spread because of the journal have breached uh, the condemned length and rather the because of the journal which seal seats are have been reached condemned on diameter into the threats of the operation wheel axles may be shortened supply a light one eighth of an inch cut off diameter of the journal and with removal average scores and cuts of the fillets from restore worn fillets and the length of the journal appropriately and reducing the thickness of the ending of the collar here is a figure of the economical selection of the wheel axles you have your a b c d and f with the journal dimensions new the load pounding the load pounding and um, maximum weight of the railway car and your car n normal nominal c the capacity of a four wheel truck and uh, four wheel tr trucks um, load in pounds of ax axles designed to carry maximum weight of the railway car loaded on a four wheel truck name uh, name of the axle should be applied on the second hand wheel the ax ex axle wheel seats to be turned to the finish in diameter approximately when the axles are m applied in the new wheels and the axles will be seated and should be turned to the fork to a compromised diameter. When three, when a more uh, usable old wheels have been reached a maximum diameter shown in the item one above them may be applied to oversized axles within the seats turned to the finish diameter not more than. And four, the wheel set, seat sets of the old axle may be turned into the minimum finish, di finish diameter of. Here is what they call the length of the wear of the journal. You will see a nine and a half in a nine, sorry, nine and eleven sixteenths inches in, in, is an incorrect measure. The correct measure from the flange is is nine and five sixteenths of an inch. The contour of the wear of the journal is is is, is one eighth of an inch on the and one side and one and a half, one quarter of an inch on the other. Four eight journal boxes and assembly generally. Generally, the journal box contains a bearing and wedging assembly. The axle journal is necessary with waste of the packing, lubrication pads, and lubricating, lubricating pads, and lubrication, uh, lubricant. Sorry, lubricant. Figure 422. The journal box's dust guard and plug is inserted in a vertical slot in the back end of the box. The plug provides a close fit in the turn axle dust guard and seat to prevent cinders and dirt and moisture for the entering of the box of the back. Condition in the mighty otherwise increase whether where the journal bearing and possibility eventually cause the hot journal to dust guard inserted in the place where the journal box is fitted over the journal B the bearing the journal bearing serves as the same purpose as all the other bearings the distinguished feature in the unusual top of the bearing frame function of the co contrast is unusual on all around bearing so encountered in machine construction is afforded to the tough sole where the wearing surface at the point of the contact where the weight of the car is transferred to the journal since it's necessary to replace the bearings and frequently they are designed to remove be removed easily they are built to specifications fabricated each of the bronze or special iron they are provided with babbit metal ironing which is for cast to face and bearing back and because of the integral part of it is the combination of metals have been long considered with the about Consider the best of the sol solid 
bearing construction. The Babbitt is a soft, although it's tough, durable, and provides highly efficient back bearing surface. The iron brazing backing is in turn giving it the support and tends to dissipate the heat and generated transferring it into the top box. See the wedge. The wedge companion part of the bearing assembly is provided by the furnace limited rocker and anchorage of the bearing. It also serves to distribute the wearing of the car uh, equally into the wear surface of the bearing because of the rock air bearing and contour. The wedge is held in the place in the projections and provided for the purpose of the cast steel and the journal box, box top. The lugs are released in the journal boxes, play, jacked up the few inches journal boxes, journal boxes, packing and contained in the journal box box. Um, is an important part of the bearing assembly, whether it consists of the commercial spring type lubrication of co or cotton or wool with waste, and when packed in a prescribed manner, it is a w acts as a weak and feeds lubrication into the bearing. The use of the waste of the packing is discontinued to, on most commercial railroads. Continual United States Congress President play practice being AA approved on lubricator pads. The increasing use of the roller bearing journals and the freight service also. Most Department of the a Army of the DA owned or the owned. Rolling stock over the seas of waste type of journals. Details concerning the proper packing of the journal boxes are contained in 412 through the 418 box lid. The journal box lid in the front of the journal box keeps out the dirt and the dirt into the foreign matter. It is instrumental in the operation of journal bearing, although the lid is hung and so that the remaining is closed during the of the car is made open for the sea service of inspecting. The lid is hinged in the top of the box and splinged. Spring loaded into the insurer er, to ensure the tight closure attachment is provided with to keep the lid over the servicing operation and or uh, and or in progress overseas and bolt lock the journal cases the bolt lock journal boxes and lids and our standardized minimized pilferage and waste of the brass and journal bearings journal bearings they are being to great and extent worldwide both passenger freight cars they require re relatively light maintenance attention beyond per per periodic re lubrication and any additional advantages are almost total elimination you see the journal box lid you see the typical journal box you see a wedge and your dust guard inserted in the bearing this is the packing up here you have a gauge to measure the length of the war, war, worn journals it starts out with a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch in with six inches three and a quarter three and six and a half inches five and Seven in, in five thirty two seven inch seven and three seven inches three point three two five seven four point four four two five and seven si eleven sixteenths and then there's some scrap that I can't read. None of the, note this is the end applied to the axle collar. The hot box problem is better than riding in qualities of the car, loosen wheels and truck where the rolling bearings are manufactured for various commercial concerns and kind of two general types of cylinder tapered and hard steel bearings are fitted snugly to the axle journal and tapered bridge bearings and illustrated in the figure 423-1. The component parts are another bearing and shown in figure 423-2 and 423-3. 49 causes the hot boxes. Waste grabs. The threads and particles of waste between the bearing and the journal are acts as an oil wipe, causing the dry spots. The waste of grabs are caused by loss loose threads and lint welding uh, or lint wedging, a waste grab. Between the weight breaking bearing and the journal, loose threads are, must be tucked under and packing must be free from lint. Wedging is most like is the most commonly likely when a standard size is being applied to the minimum size journal and one which the worn in clothes is to the limit being the hacking in the back packing which is rolled into one side of the box in imitation of the west grab the rolling handle into the yards and serving buffer and shock in the train to make cause a displacement of the bearings in the journal instance is long enough to the bits of the waste of the get under the wearing and the mis method of protecting waste grab is to feet along the edge of the bearing of the waste grab of figure 424 Dry. All right, sorry. I'm with the um. Okay, be dry and misplaced backing. The packing has been settled away from the journal. Any portion of the length of this back roll is not contact with the journal. Journal fit and dry. A dry spot develops an overheating result. The expected method of detecting misplaced and packing examination standard packing iron and packing hook dry packing is corrected by adding the free oil. However, it is too much oil it makes the packing soggy and causes spread to lint in stock. Linen stick in a cold journal. See the loosened overrun of the linen. The linen, the bearing of the linen is overrun. And interferes with the proper circulation. Prevents oil from following the journal into the loading bearing area. Loosening overrun of the lining can be detected within the lining waste grab hook. 
when checking the waste grab. D, the water and packing, the freezing weather water and freezes in the waste of the thread, shuts off the calipari action and carries the oil to the journal, which causes the packing to adhere to the journal because of the badly misplaced. Water also can go into the oil, but when it's done, it does not freeze and displace oil and be got back to the box through the dust guard well. well. Loose with poorly fitting lids that emit snow and causing the wa water trouble. E, the dripping, dripping brine, and brine dripping from the refrigerator car is causing the trouble. If it enters the journal box, it can go corrosive and cause rough spots of the journal. Flat rim, rough wheels, flat and rough wheels causing a pounding of the shells and packing away from the journal and breaks the oil film under the bearings. C, G, overloaded cars, common causes of a hot box are overloaded cars, cars having misplaced and shipment loading with increasing lead the load to one or more journal spots. H, defective or trusses are out of square and do not swivelly swivel free of their own binding sides, bearings, and drive center plates to contribute overheated bearings. I, axle, bent axles may cause hot boxes. If an axle is bent between the wheels and the wheel tread will show unevenly bearings, or sorry, uneven wearings. Bearings and bent axles will also show with hampered wear and F allowed to continue to service may be become badly damaged and overheating. The bearings on either on either end of the axle should be examined and precaution of the bent axle is suspected. J, the truck bolster springs and snubbing devices. Defective and properly applied coil springs and snubbing devices may result in hot boxes. This is a heavy duty bearing assembly of application of parts exploded view. You see the gasket, the journal case, the lid, and you can only use bronze on it when you have to weld on it. 410 Journal Care. Overheating hot boxes causes the oil of the journal boxes to carbonize and burn after the oil and packaging has been burned. Remaining in black residue sticks in the journal bearing as scratches and or cuts off the journal, which is relatively soft with hot and rough journal can be defected by the peel of either by the using of two hips of fingers, preferably using the pointed end of the waist grab and hook in the figure 424. It was always be very dr dried and when a journal becomes scattered it is unsafe and further service of that impaired where its wheels will be replaced. 411 journal bearings. A general like journal. The main causes journal bearing failure can be traced to the lack of lubrication bearing, bearing damage and will occur when the there is not enough oil in the journal to overcome the effect of the friction development between the journal and bearing. Whether the Babbitt bra line brass or steel roller bearings and one of the end of the bearing is excessive worn in the journal should be examined in tapering. Examine for tampering. Tampering is caused uneven, uneven weight distribution, is distribution plus bulky, faulty lubrication. Where are the marks that indicate the journal will become tapered or not? Remo renewal product precautions. In the process of changing wheels and or applying new journal bearings to car wheels, the following precautions will be observed. One, the surface of the journal should be smooth and throughout clean before the bearing is applied. Abrasive paper cloth should not be used on on or about the axle journal under the car's journal surfaces should not be wiped out of the wa waste. Two plain and journal bearings should be clean and smooth before application. Do not use abrasive paper and cloth and removing the irregularities if necessary for the use of the half round life scraper. And three, apply for the thin, thin coat car oil lining before applying the bearing. Never wipe the lining or the journal with the waste. Seal wheel ring. You have your seal. You have your axle end cap. Your locking plate. Your cap screws. Your pipe plug. Your seal wheel. Seal wheel. Seal wheel ring. Wearing. Seal wear ring. Your seal. Your back ring. Range. Your vent. Vent fitting. Your inner core, the roller bearings, cone spacers, outer cone spacer, rolling bearings, and cu car cup dual double nomenclature of a heavy duty bearing assembly. Four renewal for journal bearings when a back lug is broken and cracked. Four worn a quarter of an inch length wise in either end. Combine wear length of three eighths of an inch and more. D lug worn depth of one eighth of an inch more in the area which is over four, over fifty percent of the contact face. E the combined wear of the both sides of the lugs extension quarter inch more any at any location F the lining worn through the brass at brass at any location of three eighths of an inch more or lower edge of the brass side walls. G lining is loose and broken out. H the lining is pulled into the general contact or area indicating a wear pattern. I wheels and axle are changed into two bearings each to the set of the wheels. J they're missing. Um, 
C. Method of removal. To remove journal bearing, the journal packing should be first removed. These are what they, they're packing irons. They're little um, sticks. They go by. This is your material blade. It's straight spring steel. It's 26 inches by 30 inches, and then two inches on a on a rise. Um, and about one eighth, one eighth of an inch thick to one and a half inch, three eighths of an inch round, and it goes 26 to 30 inches. And then you have your other packing iron, which is a loop. It goes five eighths of an inch with two inch inch diameter and a five inch set with a little hook nail, and five eighths of an inch to one eighth, one and a half inch an eighth, one and a half inch, and with a five eighths of an inch out and, and five and eighths inch thick with one inch long three and a quarter inch these are pressed together sealed along so you can pull it out you press them together this is a packing hook you have your three and a quarter inch your packing hook and this is a material steel spring steel your material mild steel the packing iron and waste grab hooks Move from the journal box. The suitable for the size of the journal jack should be be placed under the both journal boxes. The one of the uh, one the one at the opposite end of the bearing is to be the removed. Merely re be raised to contact to the bottom of the journal boxes. Counterplate balance and minimize the jacking action at the other end. And if one jack is available, the wheel it may be blocked by suitable size and blocks placed in the wheel tread in the car frame jack under the front journal front box, from which the bearing is to be. Remove from the ra raise until the wedge over the bearing will slide. The wedge and then the bearing will be carefully removed and using the packing hooks. Car repairman inspector will not insert their fingers and hands when in between the wedge and the journal and the journal box top. Reverse procedures will be used in placing placing new bearing and if it was placed way to the box in the hand but over the journal collar into the place of the plate back packing hook and wedge inserted in the same manner. Jacks lowered and removed and journal bags is packed and replaced. Dehandling journal bearings, whether new new or relined broached, should be handled with special care, attention and finish ma machine part. Since the lining is relatively soft and easily damaged and abrasion impact, rail car repairman, supply personnel handling during the boxes will guide in the following general policies. One, bearings will be loose, thin and spreading lining until the dimension limits or standard specification be reclaimed and relining. Two, if journal bearings removed from the wheel, change is taken for the dismantled car for the dimensional limits of the reclaimed bo and boring broaching and provided that not less than one eighth of an inch inch of the lining of the metal remains. Such bearings should be tested for the loose lining of the broaching and the down and standing of the bearing on the end and tapping it with the hammer. And if the lightning it, lining is tight, the bearing will have the clear metallical ring. Jur journal bearings should be selected for the broaching and pr proper inspecting band use of the appropriate gauges. Three, the bearings will lining, lining and melted off of the overheating of the surface should be not relined. When four, when the wheels are removed to be, to be returned and when it is feasible to do so, it is good to be returned and bearings the surface is the same journal and provided that their dimensional limits and linings are tight. Bearings should not be thrown undropped or allowed to around and mix with other materials. Six, in transit storage, bearings should be stowed and stacked or voided in In transit, in transit, and in storage, bearings should be stowed, stacked, and avoided to damage li lining. And approved, approved method of stacking bearings is shown in Figure 425. Bearings will be stacked in layers and with wood or scrap with sheet metal in li layers. E. Journal bearings, wedges, new wedges should be conformed with dimensional li limits and current regulations. Each wedge should be checked and out of the bearing and should be properly crowned without pinching the sides of the resting of the lug, uh, resting on the lugs. In front sa surface of the wedge, in wedge is bent down it will not engage in the lugs of the box sometimes the wedges are too narrowly and too narrow for the bearing is this will be tended to pinch the journal and may cause the hot box the wedges is flat, top, flat on the top the current rock of the rotation of the axle is intended the weight of will be unevenly distributed out over the bearing and too much of the weight as on in one place will sufficiently friction to the make the journal run hot if the wedge exhibits a bright ridge of, over the entire length of the top the re it is reasonable sure for the wedge not uh, the wedge is not rocking but is remaining Bearing rigidly against the top of the journal box, following general rules of apply. This is a rec recommended method of stacking journal bearings. One wedge is cracked and distorted, broken, and should be replaced. Two wedges flat on the top or length extending from the original diameter of the journal should be replied and reapplied from where limits are indicated in the following table.
Table 4, 2, Journal Wear Limits, 4, 4 and a quarter and an eighth of an inch, Wear Limit, Flat and Length, Flat, Flat Knit, Flat Length Wise, 3 and a half, or sorry, 3 and a quarter, 4 and a quarter and 8 by 8, Normal Journal Size, Wear Limit, Flat Knit, Length Wise, 3 and a quarter, 5 and, 5 by 9 inches, Wear Limit, Flat Knit, Length and Wise, Lengthwise an inch is four inches. Five and a half by ten inches by a length wearing limit flatness four and a half. Six and a, it's a normal size of six, journal six and inch by one inch wearing limit flatness length five inches. Six and a half by twelve inches wearing limit flatness lengthwise sixty five inches and a half. Three wedges have overall length reduced more than three sixteenths of an inch and contact surface should not be applied. Four, if the bottom of the bearing surface is une uneven, uneven, it extends to one sixty fourth of an inch, determined by straight edge of the suitable gauge of the wedge must be removed from the surface and five, or sorry, F, dust guard. When wheels are changed from the dust guards, they should be renewed. renewed. In section four, journal box of the 